Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into a product that my father actually got me for the holidays and that is a 30 quart or 28 liter Pelican cooler and uh, I just wanted to do a quick little review on it because I think it's an awesome cooler and uh, just my thoughts on these types of coolers especially you guys know Yeti to me those things are ridiculously expensive and I could never justify buying a cooler that costs that much. I know somebody who has a big Yeti cooler that costed uh, a grand or maybe a little bit over a grand. And I'm just like, damn, you could buy a fridge and a generator and just take that with you for that price. <laughs> it just blows my mind how expensive some of these coolers are. Uh, now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that these coolers aren't amazing and you know, some of the best things out there, but some of the prices on these things are ridiculous. Uh, but once in a while you can find really, really good deals. Uh, this cooler specifically, if you look at for it online, you will find it for around $225. And then I believe my dad got this at Gordman's on Black Friday. And uh, he's like, there's nothing in that store that ever interests me. But when he came across this and he saw the price, he, he actually picked up two of them. So they originally had it for $179 on sale, and then it went to $129. So $180 to $130, and then on Black Friday, they actually had it for $60. So my dad picked up two of them. He kept the other one. Uh, it is white with black trim here. And then obviously this one tan with the orange trim. I think it's really cool looking uh, cooler. The other thing that's cool is it has four rubber feet on the bottom and they actually line up with the four cup holders on the top so you can actually stack them. And uh, <laughs> we had a few drinks at the house and I used this cooler, but it was snowing out. So I just decided to use the snow instead of buying ice. And uh, it held it for, well, I had it in there for four days and the snow was still in there. So it works really well, keeps drinks nice and cold. Uh, so it's a really good cooler, but I'm just gonna kind of show you some of the details on it. And uh, if you guys find it interesting, maybe you guys can find a good deal on it out there as well, or maybe you just got it or thinking about getting it and you wanna see kind of a review on it, here it is. So let's get a little bit closer. So here, is actually a bottle opener built in to the cooler and uh, here are the rubber feet that I was talking about earlier now this doesn't have any wheels or like a pulling handle or anything like that it does have a handle on each side to grab and I I want to say this thing weighs around I don't know maybe 20 pounds or so so it's not a real light cooler. It's not something that you want to, you know, want to take from your vehicle to your camping ground if it's more than a block away. <laughs> but it's still a really good cooler if you're gonna keep it in your vehicle or you know carry it short distances. So other than that, on the front here, 30 quarts, 28 liters, made in the USA, uh, holds 28 pounds of ice and 23 cans. Uh, guaranteed for life it's pelican brand obviously you can see that here's what it looks like on top you got inch measurement and centimeters the four cup holders and then the latches i actually really like they're very durable latches and i like this locking mechanism on each one of them push this in and open it up and then on the inside On the back side, you can see it says Pelican. It does have a seal around it that works very well. You can kind of see how much of the cooler is actually usable compared to the insulation. And then at the bottom here, right here in each corner is actually a tie down spot. You can actually get Pelican tie downs or you can just get your own, which are a little bit cheaper uh, to tie it down in your vehicle or anything like that. So that's kind of nice. And uh, I just really think it's a really nice cooler and it's worked very well for me. It does have 
a drain port there and it kind of funnels the the water and stuff down so you're not having to you know shake the cooler to try and get the water out and then it does have a screw cap on the side so it's actually a really nice cooler um, I'm not sure I would pay $225 for it but I think my dad got it for a really good deal when he found it for uh, $60 so that's just a real quick look at it there's really no other information on it uh, like I said I had drinks in there for about three or four days and it still had the ice in there and it worked very well so I think it's a great cooler if you guys own something similar let me know uh, what you guys have and if you like it or not and the price that you got it at I think sixty dollars for this is a really good deal so uh, if you're interested there's kind of the first look and I really hope you guys enjoyed if you did please hit that thumbs up Leave a comment down below of your guys' thoughts or any other coolers that you suggest. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. See you guys in the next one.